On Divination in Sleep is a treatise by Aristotle where he explores the concept of whether prophetic dreams exist, and if so, how they occur. Aristotle starts by considering the traditional views of divination through dreams, as held by people of his time and earlier, who believed in the supernatural origins of dreams capable of predicting future events. This stands in accordance with the reverence given to oracles and seers in ancient society. Aristotle, himself a systematic observer and philosopher, approaches the subject by initially acknowledging that there are two broad categories of dreams, those without any divine or prophetic significance, and those that supposedly contain forewarnings of the future. He questions the mechanism by which dreams might actually predict the future, creating a critical dialogue with those who accept prophetic dreams without skepticism. He closely examines the physical and psychological aspects of dreaming to discern a possible natural explanation. Aristotle posits that during sleep, the senses are inactive, but the mind continues to generate images. He suggests that these images are derived from residual sensory impressions left over from waking experiences. Dream images can be the result of the day's residue or forgotten experiences from the distant past. According to Aristotle, the predictive capability of dreams might not be as direct or as mystical as commonly believed. Rather, due to the quiet and uninterrupted state of the mind during sleep, subtle signs and clues that often go unnoticed while awake might become the focus, allowing the dreamer to piece together information in ways that seem prescient upon waking. Thus, what appears to be divination might be the aftereffect of the mind's predictive capacities, drawing on experience and observation. Aristotle finds it improbable that any supernatural force would choose to communicate important messages through dreams to seemingly random individuals, regardless of their wisdom or virtue. Instead, he argues that dreams capable of being seen as predictive depend on the dreamer's ability to interpret the confusing and often strange imagery that dreams provide, akin to a form of problem-solving. While exploring the psychological basis of dreams that might hint at future occurrences, Aristotle distinguishes different types of dreams. Some stem from the immediate concerns, wishes, and fears of the dreamer, arising from their individual circumstances, while others appear to have no relation to the individual's current life at all. He points out that the majority of dreams fall into the former category, being influenced by the dreamer's state of mind, health, and mundane daily occurrences. Aristotle also tackles the issue of coincidence, suggesting that while many dreams are forgotten, those that seem to predict future events stand out and are remembered precisely because the events they portend come to pass. This human tendency to remember the hits and forget the misses can give the impression that dreams possess more foresight than they truly do. Analyzing the process further, Aristotle looks at the role of the body's internal experiences during sleep, which might influence dream content, potentially causing dreams that provide warnings about health or bodily conditions. For instance, a person suffering from an internal ailment might have dreams that reflect their physical state, which upon waking could be considered a form of self-diagnosis rather than an externally infused prophecy. Aristotle further argues that any apparent success in divination through dreams is a result of universality rather than specificity. Dreams are vague and can be interpreted in multiple ways. He contends that a seemingly prophetic dream is merely a coincidence. The dream's general nature allows it to be retroactively matched with any number of real outcomes. He points out the human instinct for pattern recognition, where people seek out linkages to make sense of random events. However, Aristotle stops short of entirely dismissing the possibility of any form of prophetic ability in dreams. He acknowledges that there may be a grain of truth to the notion that sometimes the human soul might have a perception of the future. But he emphasizes that this is not due to any mystical insight, but rather to the mind's natural inclination toward organizing and anticipating events based on past experiences and current understanding. Despite his skeptical approach, Aristotle does not deny the occasional accuracy of predictive dreams, but instead assigns it to natural causes and probabilities rather than divine intervention or mystical abilities. He stresses that genuine divinatory dreams are exceedingly rare and that most dreams cannot be relied upon as true guides to the future. 
In conclusion, Aristotle's treatise on divination in sleep examines the phenomenon of dreams that are thought to predict the future, offering natural explanations over supernatural ones. He systematically deconstructs the idea that dreams are intrinsically prophetic, attributing their occasional accuracy to the subconscious workings of the mind, the dreamer's interpretive skill, and pure chance. Through his philosophical inquiry, Aristotle questions not only the means by which dreams might foretell future events, but also the very plausibility of such claims, urging a more rational and empirical approach to the understanding of dreams and their possible significance.